Hey everyone, so this is my 100 gallon reef tank. Uh, right now I'm currently waiting on a 7x2x2 by two by two, uh, 210 gallon to be built. So this is kind of a temporary holding tank for all the rock I was cycling and some uh, random corals and frags that I have been uh, collecting over the past couple months. Uh, right now I'm running a 12 bulb current USA fixture. Uh, puts out some decent light, but uh, when I get the 210, um, basically I'll be putting three 250 watt metal halides in there as well. So we'll have the 12 bulb uh, T5 HOs and then of course the three metal halides as well. So that should be plenty of light and uh, well supplemented and that sort of thing. So as for flow right now it's got uh, uh, two JBAL WP40s and uh, seems to put out tons and tons of current which is fantastic. Everything looking uh, pretty happy in there. Uh, SPS likes the flow and that sort of thing as well so um, that's doing well. Water goes in overflow out the back here and down there through the wall and into my sump room. So this is my disaster of a sump room right now. Um, I'm currently still uh, waiting to fill up the, uh, the left hand side which will be my frag tank on the top followed by um, a fuge on the bottom and uh, right now this is the right hand side this is all fully done already so water comes through the back there through the wall into my skimmer which is an SWC Extreme uh, 250S2 uh, which is it's, it's a really good skimmer I really love it but I've been playing around with the uh, the water height with the egg crate and uh, happens to be kind of not functioning very well right now since I raised it so I'm going to lower it back down but it does pull out some uh, pretty pretty nasty gunk and uh, so this is my manifold run by a, a mag 12 goes up there recirculates back into the water of course um, but the main thing is feeds uh, whatever I'm going to have to run which will be probably UV sterilizer calcium reactor and right now I do have two small reactors online, one for carbon and uh, one for GFO. And those are doing well. This also doubles up as my water change tank. And uh, the basis behind this tank was to provide a settling area for all the detritus. Um, which if you take a look, is uh, it's really, really working. All the brown stuff there is all detritus. So it kind of settles out and I get uh, minimum deposits in the in, uh, bottom sump. So this doubles as my water change tank. I stir it up during a water change and uh, basically everything gets drained out. So I can clean all that detritus out of there. Less maintenance, less hassle, it's fantastic. Water returns through that uh, from my saltwater mixing barrels down in the basement. And that goes to my auto top off reservoir. Right now it's set to just uh, basically take fresh water down here. So I'm going to click this on and it's going to come out into my reservoir and that fills up my automatic top off and when I'm ready for a water change I just go basically turn a whole bunch of valves and uh, make sure that no uh, salt water is getting back into there. And just turn it off when it's done. And bottom sump so water continues down from here goes into uh, mechanical filtration which is two four inch filter socks and uh, I always put filter floss in there getting a little dirty we're ready for maintenance here pretty quick in the next couple days I'm running two DC 10,000 return pumps and uh, one feeds back to the display and the other one feeds directly into the live rock sump which you can see has tons and tons of life in it um, that will eventually go back into my frag tank on the left hand side of the closet there when we're done and uh, hang a back filter there is just for emergencies just in case I ever have to hospitalize something I have a, um, a good filter ready to go and hook up whenever I need to uh, use quarantine or a hospital tank and just go over here to the left hand side so that's a frag tank, two 250 watt metal halides. And we got the fuge there as well, so that'll all be plugged in together here pretty quick. Stay tuned.